Hey, hey, hey. Let's talk about visions and making a vision board. Walk with me. So, some of y'all have been asking me um, about vision board making. So, I figured that I would go live and I would show you my vision board. Would you like to see it? My house is a little messy because, you know, Thanksgiving. Well, not Thanksgiving. Christmas. So, we got stuff everywhere. But either way, I wanted to show you guys my vision board. And, um... Come into the room, mm, mm, mm. dream catch a room. I need to get my eyebrows done. My skin's not as clear as it used to be. Anyway, um, now come on and I want to show you um, my vision and vision board. So I have not made my new vision board. This is my 2020 vision board. Um, and I'm going to explain how I made it and how you can make one too. So let's turn it around. Turn around. All right. All right. So this is my house. See my Christmas tree. We still got it up. All right, so this is my favorite though. I love our fireplace. Anyway, so this is my vision board, okay? So I like to split my vision board into two categories. I like to choose my professional category and my personal category, all right? Now, here's how I, this is how I like to do it because my visions, and you'll note for, for your visions as well, that they don't necessarily quote unquote come true right away yeah tag 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 your friend you know share this video um i don't mind if you record or whatever um i'm sharing it so that people can get um some more clarity um yeah let them know let them know <laughs> but Janice is sharing her vision board now here's what i like to do so look this is you see how hard this is literally i bought this poster board probably i want to say 10 years ago and i don't know what it's called but i just got it from staples but i like it because what i do is all of these are, you know, this is just like magazines and stuff. So I, they're just like stuck on with paper and, and um, I mean, with tape. Okay. So one, you have to decide kind of like what the base of your vision board is going to be. Two, you have to decide the category. So like I said, this is my professional side, which we'll go over. This is my vi um, personal side, which we'll go over. Okay. So let's go over, over, yeah, tag folks, tell them to come in. Let's go over my professional side. So here's some rules for vision board. One, it is, let me turn around. Some rules for vision boarding. I'm going to put this down here. It's in my car, my, on my floor. The rules for vision boarding are one, they should be, it should be uh, positively um, stated. So when I used to teach preschool, I remember like my first few years, well, really my first few months, I used to have these rules like for the kids. It would be like um, no running, no hitting no yelling, right? And then a, um, a master teacher who they um, paired me with said, Tiffany, that you never wanna speak in the negative um, when you are trying to get positive um, results, that you wanna speak in the positive. So instead of no running, it was walking feet. That's what I changed the rule to. No hitting, nice hands, no yelling, quiet, vo inside, use your inside voice. So I want you to think the same when it comes to your vision board. I want you to use positive language. So let me show you again. So for example, I wouldn't say, um, don't gain weight. Instead, I was like, yes, that's Serena Williams, right? Healthy is beautiful. I was like, so that's my vision, right? So I have a salad here, right? To remind me to, um, to, to eat healthy, healthy right now. That's another thing. So posting in the positive is really important. So, you know, not the no, but the yes. What is the positive version of what you're wanting? So let's go over some things, okay? All right, so, oh, you like my ceilings? <laughs> and this is my favorite. So these are like the boards across. So this house was built in 1920. If you see, you can see the pocket doors. And then these are like the coffered ceiling. These are the square ones. So I love, that's my dining room. I love my, um, I love my housey. Okay, so um, this is stuff that I put, like I said, on my vision board for 2020. I made it late 20, uh, either I made, yeah, I think it was, um, it, I made it in 2019. I usually do it like the, the December before. So goals. I said I want to do a TED Talk. I said I want a New York Times bestseller. If y'all know, I have a new book coming out next year. So woo woo. Um, I said I wanted a TV or streaming show. I've got like four or five different production companies reaching out to me right now. I said I wanted my business to make seven figures a month. We do that now. Isn't that crazy? I said I wanted $100,000 100, books sold. So this I'm going to keep up here. So what I like about having a vision board that's like this is that the stuff that hasn't quite come up yet, I keep it there. So this actually is perfect for 2021, right? Um, and then what else? So I want to influence over fame, serve your community, secure your future, 
Um, I wanted to make $40,000 per speaking engagement. Guess what? I just locked in my very first $45,000 speaking engagement. Isn't that crazy? Look on here. Look at what, see last year or the year before, see it's 20,000. I got that. So I updated it and put a four there, just locked it in. Something else too. I said, I wanted to make a very happy client. Look, so I put this here that by the end of the year, I said, I wanted, um, a, a very happy client to give me $750,000. And, um, I'll just say this because I can't say who I received a contract for $750,000. So not to me personally, but to my business. So isn't that crazy? Right. I also said, so Target, I've, see, look, partner, I've always wanted to partner with Target. I want that one day you walk into Target and you see things on the shelf and it has like budget needs to certified. So when you go shopping, you know, this is something that I have considered that is worth the value, Right. Financial wholeness is a movement. If you know my new book that's coming out called Geek It With Money, it's all about financial wholeness. Um, look at this. I have a major part on a positive reality show that helps to transform lives. That's exactly what the production companies that are reaching out to me, that's exactly what they're pitching to me. Isn't that crazy? Like this is stuff like I'm saying, these are things I put on my vision board last year. Look what's happened this year already. I said I want to be on Super Soul Sunday with Oprah. That ain't happened yet. But my children's book, Happy Birthday, Molly Moore, did come out. We sold um, nearly 10,000 copies of Happy Birthday, Molly Moore. I said I wanted to my, Molly for the book to be as big as Dr. Seuss books. Still working on that, but look like, so that's, um, so if you want to get Molly Moore, it's M-A-L-I-M-O-R-E, mollymore.com. Um, I said I wanted to be a partner with Essence. That hasn't happened. Let me see what else. I want to live an extraordinary life. Billion dollar woman. I want to have a billion dollar brand. So that will stay on until that happens. Oh, I wanted to be in the New York Times, um, like obviously bestseller, um, healthy and happy, um, retire with money. Now, this is crazy. This $15 million, so every year I take off this and then I put on another, this is a real dollar. For those of you who don't know, before Bitcoin came along, I actually owned the trademark to this dollar sign B sign and then Bitcoin hijacked it. But nobody owns Bitcoin, so there's nobody to sue. So it's just whatever. So anyway, this dollar bill is a real dollar bill, and I just put on a new amount. Um, one of my companies um, that I started five years ago, the Live Richer Academy, just hit $15 million in sales. So isn't that crazy? Yo, why right? The stuff that you put on your vision board. People think, now here's the thing about vision boards. It's not just enough to put stuff on. You know, you have to put work toward it. So now let's go on to the personal side, right? Personal side. So <laughs> I said I wanted to. To, what does it say? The Oprah, oh, the Oprah interval. Um, I said I wanted to travel more. Obviously, that did not happen this year. I've never been to Charleston, so you have to be specific too. That's another rule of um a vision board. You have to be specific. Um, so I never got to Charleston, and I did say I always keep this on here. I operate from a space, um, in place of kindness. I've always wanted to see the Great Wall of China. I've always wanted to see Egypt. Let's have a play date. That's just like me saying I want to travel. South Africa. These are places I have not been. Um, I've always, always, always wanted to like for once, just one time to travel on a private jet. I said I wanted to keep the romance out of my husband. And we, this is like us, our wedding day. Um, very much so still in love. So that's awesome. You know, I'm trying to become a bombshell. I was like, I already got the booty. I just don't have the waist. You know? <laughs> and also too, for y'all of you who follow me and know me that my husband and I have been trying for a child I found like isn't that perfect because I have locks so I found this one with locks with her baby so if you know me um you know that I call my husband Superman and I call my stepdaughter super super girl and so I was like you know I want us to have super baby um yeah so this is my vision board and um yeah I just let me see let me turn it around what the, oh the beautiful frames where did I get those frames from I got those frames from, uh, I want to say homes, not, not home sense. I don't know, one of these homes. Where did I get these frames? I used to go there all the time. I don't remember. Um, so yeah, that is my vision board. Um, so if you are not considering making one, I honestly highly suggest that you make a vision board because they can be very useful tools for you to, one, map out what is it? Um, that you're one, like you said, somebody said all of this will happen, right? So I would say a good 30% of what's on my vision board, especially the professional side has come true. 
Um, it wasn't Home Goods. It was another home place that, that I got the frames from. I'm trying to remember. It's going to come to me. Um, so a good 30% of what's on a vision board comes through. So what I do is I go on the vision board, right? And then I take the things off that have come true and I replace them with new goals and dreams. It's important that your vision board, it's also like, it's your, it's your vision. So you want to be able to see it. It's important too that you um, put it someplace that you can see it every day. I don't actually look at it every day. In the beginning, I might look at it like throughout January and then it's just kind of there subconsciously reminding me to go for my goals and dreams. Um, and as a result, you know, it's, it's not just setting the vision. It first, it's the vision. Then you have to speak the vision into life and then you have to work the vision into fruition, right? So it's important not, these are things like, you can't just say like, oh, I want to, you know, I want to have a best-selling children's book. It, if you haven't found the illustrator, you haven't written it, you haven't found a publisher, you see what I mean? So you can't just want a thing. You, what are you willing to do to get a thing? So, um, yeah, if you have a vision board, please tag me. I'm actually going to do a contest, I think. I think I'm going to do a contest where I do like, you know, if you tag me in your vision board. If you're not on my email list, you should be. Go to, um, I'm going to type it in, Budget Nista Goodies. Budget Nista Goodies, goodies, G-G-O, goodies.com. Go to budgetnistagoodies.com to get on my email list. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to send people on my email list that if you tag me in your vision board, um, I will send you um, a copy of my brand new book that comes out next year called Get Good With Money. And um, yeah, so all right, y'all, that's it. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to go back to chilling. Listening to my podcast, my favorite podcast. What are y'all doing today? I hope you have taken this time to kind of like boost out with your family and friends and stuff. All right. Bye, y'all. Or I keep it in my office for those of you who are asking. I keep it in my office on my wall.